Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here again with another episode of Harmonious Engineering. And I just got back from a mining trip. Whoop. Mainly for iron. <laughs> but uh everything. I grabbed as much as I could. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get you out of here. Found a few more dungeons as well. Uh it was actually over in this area. And actually above this cave there's another the mine shaft is actually quite extensive up in the ceiling once i got up in there there was just tons of materials which was awesome but uh i ran out of food so i had to come back now let's see um right there's no real cooking pot recipes is there all right yeah like this thing here here we go Egg, carrot, onion, rice. Okay, fried rice. It's not bad. Uh, apple cider. Gives you absorption for a minute. Okay, it's cool. Uh, dumplings. Okay, we need dough. Wheat dough from Farmer's Light. Okay. And oh, we have pasta with meatballs, beef stew, vegetable noodles, uh, mushroom stew. Only need two mushrooms for that, though, if you can make it in the cooking pot. Magma gelatin. Interesting. Capel pearl. Hmm. Oh, those are those things that were blowing up on me. Uh, down in the mine shaft. Baked cod stew. Cooked rice. Okay. Vegetable soup. We got cabbage rolls. I do like the cabbage rolls because they're halfway decent. It's two and a half haunches, but they, uh, they don't give you a bowl back. And, uh, oh, the stuffed pumpkin's really good, though, too, but it requires a bowl. And, you know, like, hot cocoa clears one harmful effect. All right, that's kind of cool. Got ratatouille, beetroot, tomato sauce, dog food, noodle soup, fish stew, pumpkin soup, grilled strider, pasta with mutton chop, and stuffed hoglin. And for that, I need a raw stuffed hoglin. Okay. Ham, hoglin loin, and then stuff. Okay. I uh, went ahead and added some like little detail blocks in here. I uh, started working on getting a split taller. And it's like I ran out of uh, treated wood. So I decided to go mining for a bit. And yeah, then I got distracted and all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and get another 32 of this going here. And 32 of you. There you go. Awesome. More steel. And I, uh, yeah, took down the metal press and whatnot and just put everything away in there. Jerk. Yeah, I heard you. Come on. Ow. Let me get here. Take care of the, the, the really tall grass. And dodge. Hey, now you're coming in at low speed. Dang it, I missed the second shot. Sweet. Penta membrane. Uh, what are you used for? Levitation lubricant and... Jet boots. Okay. I can grind it to get... Okay. Uh, let's see. If we run through here, we get potion of slow falling. Okay. Right then. So, might need... Come on. Shut the door. There we go. Uh, might need actually a decent amount of this stuff then. And... Something I can do with rotten flesh. Compost, uh, looks like. Dog food. Uh, we need a bunch of it for etching acid. Okay. I should maybe get around... Oh, I need a bucket of molten plastic first. Okay. So, yeah, we need the, the TPP. Okay. Not a problem. Just hadn't got around to it yet, so... Made a bunch more of the nether brass, because, well, why not? Uh, prickly pears. They actually grow on top of the cactus when they're just three tall. And... I mean, 
doing a cactus farm anyway, so it's basically free food at that point. Is that, uh, let's make a stove, right? Uh, we can make the black stone, or we can make a regular one. Four brick blocks, a campfire, and three iron ingots. Okay. Um, I don't think I've got... Oh, no, I do. Cool. I don't think I've got the bricks, but I proved myself wrong. And then campfire would be... There's one over here, but let's leave that for now. So, one, two, three. One... And let's use some, some of those. So there's that. That and that. There's our stove. Which, uh, you know, you can go here for now. And then cooking pot. There we go. And it does not burn me by standing on it. Okay, cool. Now, the stove is just the heat source for this. That's all it is. Just a fancier looking one than the uh, the campfire is, but all right. So quest wise, I don't think I'm gonna be really working on a whole lot of quest stuff right now. Uh oh, yeah, I never did claim the food book. Don't really need it either. Consolidation. I still need a morphing tool. Uh, let's see. In here, I've got red dye, I've got green dye, and, well, blue, right? So I'm not going to work on a quest, I'll immediately start doing one. Alright, well. Let's go ahead. Get that done. Put that away, because I really just, I never use them. So. Uh, books. Yeah, you can go in here. A little bit of experience, why not? And inventory management two. Nice belt of leather and string. Okay. So five leather, two string, and an iron. And we've got a spider out there. I need to, yeah, secure the area a bit better. And it's starting to rain. Okay. So here's a question. Controls. Uh, Keybinds. Here we go. Belt slot inventory is V. Okay. So right there. Um, what mod is that from anyway? Tool belt, okay. At belt. Do I need belt pouches? Okay, it's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of that. Was oh, bugger. It was either eight of one or the other. I can't remember which one. So seriously, all oh, that is cool. <laughs> Okay, um, is that a function of the engineer's crafting table then? All right, so do I, yep, there we go, okay. Can't shift, so I... Okay, and do I then just like craft you together then? Okay. So let's get you re-equipped, re-belong. Nope, not that one. This one. Okay. No, that's just my offhand. That didn't count. Hello, spider. Uh, nope. Oh, here. There we go. Alright. All right. Go take care of the spider. And I guess I need to look up the tool belt. Well... Yeah, it doesn't really mention anything in there to how to attach them. Hey. Hey. Thank you. And, oh yeah, you can see three tall cactus here. 
you look on top, you can see the little purple things. Those are immature uh, prickly pears. And if you let them grow up all the way, then... Oh, there's a lot of you guys this time, huh? Well, that didn't work out very well, did it? Oh, that's right. These things run dead, aren't they? I think that was just the last sound playing. Okay. All right. Um, be right back here. All right. So it's still raining, and um, they're combining an, put the tool belt in an anvil. So three levels, huh? Well, before we do that, uh, should I just try a book then? Maybe. Okay, you can go away and is that? There's that. All right. Uh, but why did I go there? Okay. Book, sharpness three, efficiency two, holding two. Okay. You know what? Let's try this, right? Because I didn't have a whole lot of luck getting. Yep, so you know. And I've got the other one that is not renamed or died, so we'll give that a try too. And nope. Can't enchant it, and I can't anvil that on there. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves another book then. Let's grab all the lapis for now. Uh, do we have lapis stays on the table? No, we don't. Okay. What is this? Smite five? Yeah, okay. Smite four? No. Nope, nope. Uh, do I have any extra tools? Yeah, yeah, we can try and... What would we get for the tool? Efficiency four. Um, right. Uh, we need tools though, is a thing. Uh, do I have any extra armor just laying around in here I could try? Oh, I've got some, yeah. Let's try boots, right? Because I want feather falling. Uh, ying. It's got ying and yang, okay. So I don't want to do boots then um maybe a helmet so let's put you away hey cool I even have an iron helmet sitting here and I hear a skeleton outside there we go avoiding huh so yeah, that's right. Boots are different than the rest of the armor. Okay, what was the book again? Feather Falling 1. You know what? I'm going to do that just to basically re-roll everything. Fire Protection 4. No. Uh, let's go grab the boots again and see. Bond Feather Falling. Protection 4. I don't have eye protection for my boots. Dang it. <laughs> ah. Let's just try our luck here with the Yang and Fire Protection 4 on the helmet. Okay. I'd be not the best, but I'll, uh, oh, no, not you. Uh, I'll make do, I guess. 3, 5, okay. Two upgrades, four slots. Hey, look at you go. And if I hit... Okay. So if I don't put it there, but if I put it here... Huh. Well, that's a bit of a downer now, isn't it? Oh, well. Let's... uh.
14, 16. Okay. At least we have Yang, so I don't have to worry about my helmet breaking as much now. Uh, and it is unbreaking three on top of that, so. Hello, zombie. I hear you out there. And... There. Push off. All right. Uh, what to work on first? All right, so I was going to do a tree farm. And with Create, uh, it works really good if you have access to deployers, which we don't yet. Uh, we need the brass hand, which brass cheats. So, uh, yeah, no tree farm for me for right now, um, which is a bit of a shame because I need a lot of wood right now. And here we go. Granted, most of the wood is getting turned into treated wood uh, for this place. So I decided to work on the house a bit. I uh, went ahead uh, and closed in the backside of my coke oven and my alloy kiln. And then I just put a little access point here. There's literally nothing back here but I might put something small in there in the future you know, that I can tuck away and then went ahead and got the second floor done and I've got two stoves now went ahead and made another one put our skillet onto one uh, I don't have anything to cook in the skillet got a cooking pot here went and got my cutting board and there's a cabinet underneath so I mean, it's a, it's a quaint little kitchen, but it'll work. Do we have, like, a sink or anything? Uh, no, we have heat sinks, but that's not... Yeah. That's not the thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, cool. Here, you can have the silver now, and... There we go. Here, we just have that iron. Yeah, I've been cooking up all my... All my dust and everything else that the crush has been working on for a while, and... Um, we're finally getting a good amount of uh, ingots together, which is awesome. But I keep using it quite quickly. Uh, like over here, I've got a steel catwalk, which is actually made out of iron, but it just looks like steel. But we steel catwalk, we got railing, uh, we got metal sliding doors, and then we got a pair of those over here, and then we've got a catwalk over to. Oh, over this area. I'm going to have to work on cutting this out, I think. You know, or lowering this down anyway. But uh, can I? Yeah, there we go. I, I want to put a, like an industrial building. I have a crusher here. Probably the crusher and the arc furnace over there, actually. But that way I can just go right from one building to the other without having to go outside, you know, pretty much. And then over here is just a nice little view. Uh, we can kind of see our animal farm over there, which I have not done anything with in a bit. I need to go cull some cows, uh, cows out of there, cattle. And uh, I went ahead and went with uh, insulating glass, which is, yeah, there's a lot of iron in that. I keep getting iron and then using it to build a house <laughs> instead of actually like machines or anything. Whoops. All right. And yeah, you're getting there. Uh, one thing I noticed is I am getting an absurd amount of zinc. It's okay, because I've got a lot of copper, too, so. Uh, you know, I probably could actually build the arc furnace. I just don't really want to get into that right now. So instead, we're going to grab these. Um, grab some gunpowder. And... Uh, we go. Industrial hemp fiber. So I think it is like so, right? I'll make like four barrels for now. You know, I wish when I shift clicked, it would actually go into this area. And it's like that and you. Hey, look at that. Also, gunpowder is placeable. All right, so we've got these. I figured out how to use a tool belt as well. 
Uh, press and hold R. There you go. And then you can choose what tool you want. I've got four slots in my tool belt right now. Uh, it can go up to nine, I believe. But let's come over here. Do that. Hey, uh, horse. Boom. And it does not deal damage to entities, but it, I mean, well, yeah, <laughs> saw the hole it just made. And it's a 100% uh, drop rate as well. So it's definitely meant for, uh, well, large scale excavations like this. Actually, you know what? Here, let's, uh, control. So, yeah, I mean, it definitely works. Okay. It looks like it gives us cobblestone. So it doesn't silk touch the stone, which that would be incredible if it did. But yeah. Uh, maybe not so far down this next time. Maybe two blocks. Because that was a bit deeper than I wanted it to go. I'm going to fill that in now. And there we go. That's a good amount of digging that I just don't have to do now. Because I want uh, to this level here, I think. So one block higher. And honestly, the reason for that is because I'm lazy and I don't want to get another steel pole for that. So. My bad. Not really, but... Okay, so got a little bit of filling in to do here and quite a bit more over here, but I mean, it'll work. And say, last one for now can go here. There we go. Boom. Now, I love how quiet it is, too. And there's this cave that's, you know, been here for. Well, forever. But, uh, yeah, I need to fill that in, too. So, it's kind of messy, but there's a lot of excavation. I just have to clean it up now, which is not going to take really all that long. Uh, yeah, probably could use one more gunpowder barrel right about here-ish, but... I didn't make any more of those, so. Here's a question. Is there a way to wash these? Yes, uh, we need soap from supplementaries. Which is ash and pork chops and water for six. Okay. Uh, so, pig farm is kind of needed then. Okay. How you doing? Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh, hey, actually, I got some raw zinc out of that. So, you can go in there. Uh, if we run you through a crusher, we get gravel. Eh, sure, why not? And... Yeah, more iron anyway. Okay. I did bring back, I think it's like three stacks of iron ore. Something like that, three or four. So, I'm doing better on the iron than I was, but yeah, I need to maybe think of different ways to get iron. Right. Uh, there is the laser for the iron ores, I'm assuming, right? Hmm. All right. So what are ways to get iron nuggets? Um, just melting up tools and the ores without crushing them first okay oh wait 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 here we go so yeah that is recipe there and if we wash crushed iron ore then we will get iron nuggets and 
some redstone out of it. There's no way to get crushed iron ore, though. Uh, clicking on it, it yields no recipe. And, well, of course, we can recycle stuff, but... And then we could... Oh, yeah. Crab claws. <laughs> They're actually shears. Uh, I've got one here, but yeah, it's uh, organic shears, which is kind of cool. There you are. You can have those. Uh, what are some uses for dirt? Because I've got a lot of this now. Uh, we could dense grit sand, dense grit dirt from engineer's decor. That's a thing. Uh, stained clinker bricks. Uh, we can turn it into a path. We can run it underneath a press to make a path block. Okay. Uh, bulk haunting. We can make soul soil, which then we turn that into soul slate from a tunnel expansion. Okay. Which is, yeah, it's a building block, so. And, yep. Not seeing a whole lot there to use it. Uh, rocky dirt from decorative blocks, organic compost, organic compost, stained clinker brick, place for modules, and rocky dirt, and industrial foregoing manual. Okay. Uh, add water with the, uh, well, this is, I hate to call it copper spout, but I guess it makes sense. It's only, it's the only spout. Not to get grass blocks, though. Uh, use it in the garden cloches, which... Here's a question. So moss block will grow as glowberries. Okay, cool. Wondered about that. Can we grow kelp in here? Doesn't look like it. It's a shame. And... And dissolution chamber to make mechanical dirt, but we need liquid meat for that. Okay. So, yeah, I've got a ton of dirt, and there's really nothing I can use it for right at this moment. So, unfortunate. I'm going to have to find a place to, uh, to store that stuff, because it's... I Yeah, we've got almost two full rows of dirt. I like how it actually dropped the clover, though, when I blew stuff up. And yeah, they would go in here. There we go. All right. Um, hmm. Well, I guess let's get a little bit busier then. All right. So, um, yeah, more dirt. Always more dirt, looks like. And yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to like, yeah, I need a place to stash my dirt. Too bad I won't have like compressed blocks in this pack. Be kind of cool. All right, but I went ahead and flattened it out. Um, yeah, my crusher is just hanging out in midair right now. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be where a building is going to go. I think, oops, I'm going to turn this into a retaining wall of some flavor. I'm just not sure what material to build it out of. Um, maybe stone, I don't know, I'll have to look to see what we got. I was going to say maybe stone bricks, but meh. I don't know. Stone bricks are, they're rather plain. They really are. So, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get you condensed up then. There we go, and all that. No, here you do that. Also, I found dark mode. There's a dark theme for uh, roughly enough items. I like that. All right, cool. So, wow, I just realized I had a stack of gold dust here. I must have thought it was a uh, glowstone. Alright, uh, next episode, I think we're going to get to work on 
getting the arc bonus kind of put together. And it's a five by five by four. So this building is going to have to be kind of sizable. But it's also only going to have basically the crusher and the arc furnace in there. So it doesn't have to be that big. But it does need to be five blocks tall on the inside because I'm going to need to be able to uh, access the inputs on the arc furnace, which are at the top. Also, I need to get a roof made. Uh, let's see. At decor, there are these, uh, the shingle roofs, which deep slate tile stairs and bricks. Okay. Uh, and these are right. So we make the stairs and then we go from there. Okay. That works. All right, let's see. Near pole again. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, you've got room for that now. But uh, yeah, we're doing fairly decent. But I need, I need brass. <laughs> That's a thing. Uh, one thing we're probably going to be doing next episode as well is getting a couple of thermoelectric generators up and running. Uh, well, I've got more. I've got ten constanta here. But I've gotten more nickel now, so let's go ahead and get like 20 and like 20 of those going. I'm going to need some of you. All right, and that'll make 40 ingots of Constantin. I'm not sure what else I'm going to need Constantin for. Uh, there's... Uh, Excuse me, sheet metal, uh, there are tools, there's a gear, which we need for igneous extruder, the diffuser, catalytic reclamation chamber, catalyst usage 0.8, okay. No, that's not bad. Uh, let's see, and then the ingots themselves, we've got all the tools, and okay, yeah, there we go. Numismatic dynamo, and then this thing here is literally made with any ingot, so you can... Pretty much safely ignore that recipe. I might put my pressure chamber over there too, actually, which will kind of increase the size of the building a bit. Uh, this is going to get removed. I want to get around to it. And I'm probably going to re... Uh, like, I don't know. Sculpt, I guess would be a good word. After I get the, uh, the retaining wall up. So this line here is going to be a solid block of some flavor. Uh, then we're going to have probably a one block gap at least, maybe two, and then this will be the building. So we've actually got a decent amount of uh, room to work with here. And then you go through, and I want to like switch this out for dirt. Uh, same with this uh, cyan terracotta. Probably get this gravel moved as well. Maybe replace it with sand. Uh, let's see. We charger, right? The immersive engineering charging station is copper coil block, LV connector, and iron. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty cheap. So, and that way I could get my hands on some gadgets, probably, right? Uh, building gadget is going to require electro. Oh no, it's going to require brass to make. Okay. So after I get the arc furnace up and running, oh, I'm going to need a squeezer too. The uh, industrial squeezer, because I need to make uh, hop graphite, which means I'm going to need a lot of coal coke. Let's go ahead and get that started there. Uh, we're going to need another half a stack on top of this, which I might have. Nope, that's all used up. Okay. Go. Oh, how much slag's back here? Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, well, there you go. Because it needs, it's uh, 32 coal coke per graphite electrode. 
But I was reading the change notes and of the mod pack. And the electrodes, um, they don't take damage. Right? We can do either recipe. This one will give us 50% integrity. This one will give us 100%. But we need hop graphite, which is one to one from hop graphite dust, which is eight cold coke each. So I need 32 coke dust per electrode. So this plus another half a stack of coal, and we should be good. Not a problem. But that's just a time thing. Uh, the squeezer is something I'm going to have to make, though. What the heck is my snail doing over here? <laughs> Are you trying to jump up that or something? Weirdo. And uh, let's see. So let's look up. Um, a squeezer, right? Because I can do this and add it to the wish list over here. Then we get the arc furnace, which would be that. And that's about it. So the squeezer is not too bad to make. The arc furnace is kind of bad to make. And that one requires just an absurd amount of steel. So, well, not really absurd, but uh, uh, here. Oh, not heavy. Or not simple heavy. So the squeezer is... Look in the block list here. We need some scaffolding, light engineering, redstone engineering block. Uh, we need some pipes and some fences. So it's not terrible. Uh, the arc furnace, on the other hand. Uh, eight steel sheet metal. So that's eight steel there. Six blocks of steel. That's not 48. Uh, 14 steel metal... Steel sheet metal slabs. Steel scaffolding. Heavy engineering blocks and reinforced black br blast brick. So, looking at what? 8, 48, so that's 56. Uh, roughly a stack to get the sheet metal slabs plus another 5 for the scaffolding, so that's 69. Uh, we need four, I think it's 8 steel per heavy engineering block. So, we're looking at 100, 910, uh, and then 27 more for the reinforced blast brick. So we're looking at basically two stacks even of steel. Uh, we're sitting on a stack plus 40. See, I mean, we're close, but at the same time, we're not. So, was I right on the heavy engineering? Was it really that much each? Uh, let's see. Oh, no, that's probably more expensive. Uh, that is 8, 12 per 4. So it's 3 each. Okay. For some reason I was thinking it was uh, only got 2 recipes per. Okay. So. Yeah, but I have to make 2 recipes of that. So that's 24 for that right there. Yeah. So 24 instead of 40. Still, I mean, it brings us closer to the amount of steel that we actually have. But we're not quite there yet. But thank you for coming out. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out, have fun.